Part of the problem uh, in our hiring 10,000 coders, and yet only a couple of thousand of them still are fully engaged and working, part of the problem is that sometimes there's a disconnect. You're asked to do a certain type of coding that maybe you haven't had experience at doing, and that's a sure uh, formula for failure. You have to be able to, one of the things that your employers are going to ask for, whether it's a a physician um, office manager or whether it's a HIM director in a hospital is that they're going to require that you have have demonstrated proficiency and experience at coding exactly the type of type of work that they're assigning you to do um, not every coder comes right out and does everything well um, I mean my background was I was a certified professional accountant uh, not everyone comes out of accounting school uh, <clears throat> and is a expert at tax and audit and management advisory services. Coding is very much the same way. It's complicated and there is a lots of lots of different fields and avenues that you can end up finding yourselves in uh, with your career path. That's the beauty of medical coding. When it comes to medical coding, uh, part of the success of a coder is that they have obtained at least uh, a baseline of experience and education that allows them to do the type of coding that they're being asked and hired to do. Now, medical coding is a very large and very broad universe, um, just like healthcare is. I mean, uh, you can come through medical school. Uh, and everyone's got kind of the same baseline of education. Uh, but doctors specialize. They have to make a decision. Am I going to go into internal medicine or cardiology or do I want to be a dermatologist? Medical coders, exactly like physicians, they have to decide where they want to work. Uh, healthcare is a tremendously large market. There are hundreds of thousands of certified coders and there's a demand for way more coders than there currently are, you are gonna to have to make a decision. What interests you and what, what opportunities present themselves to you? You might get an opportunity where maybe there's an orthopedic, uh, orthopedic physician group uh, in your community and they're looking for a coder. You might have to uh, go get some experience and demonstrate you can code uh, orthopedic surgeries. Uh, by the way, there's specializations even in orthopedics. Maybe you're an expert on knee surgeries, or spine surgeries, or lower extremity, lower arm uh, surgeries. Coding is very much like medicine. You have to get a certain baseline of experience. You'll be able to get it with our Chartwise practicum because we've got thousands of records. They cover almost all the leading uh, surgical and medical service specialties uh, that are out there that are being hired for for medical coding.